How's it going everyone? Mitch here with another Logic Pro 10 tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about submixing. I know I've alluded to this in many of my tutorials, I know I've talked about this in many of my tutorials, but I want to make this, I want to single this out. This is a very, very important concept and it will allow you to take your mixing to the next level. And uh, I know this as a fact. So let's get into it. What is submixing? Submixing is basically grouping your tracks together into one single track and then what this allows us to do is mix these submixes against each other and it allows us to kind of simplify very, very complex projects into just a set of, um, you know, very simple elements, um, si simple groups. And uh, so, yeah, that's like the motivation behind doing this, simplification. Uh, let's take, for example, this track. Maybe this kit, instead of being a drummer track, it was multiple audio tracks, you know, um, kick, snare, etc., etc., multiple guitars, bass, pianos, uh, vocal tracks. This can be very, very complex. And outside of, you know, the actual, like, rock band style, you know, um, project I have here, electronic music can get extremely complex with all the different instruments in it. So this is, you know we need to kind of get a grasp of this so that we can um, simplify this in the end. So there's many ways of doing this. You can use track stacks, uh, you can use groups, um, but I'm gonna use busing and uh, auxiliary tracks to accomplish this. So let's take my vocals here, for example. Uh, as you can see, there's five tracks here and there's a lot of buses coming off of this, a lot of parallel tracks here. So the idea here is to, you know, obviously, like I was saying, condense this all into one track. So what I'm going to do is on the stereo output, I'm going to bus it via, let's say, bus 12 to a new auxiliary track. That auxiliary track is automatically created out here on the right. Um, by default, it's colored green here. Um, and you can see that this is, in fact, the track by the input, which is bus 12. I'm going to name this to Vox as it's going to contain all of my Vox tracks. And then, uh, so yeah. That's, that's really it. If you have parallel buses like this, you can select all of those. See this one, if I hold command and click the rest of them, uh, these two, then I'm gonna send these also to that bus 12. All right, so now everything, all the effects and all of the original tracks are routed into this single uh, auxiliary track. So now if I play the track, So now I can control the volume, I can solo out all of that, and I can, you know, put effects on this track, whatever you want to do. Uh, very, very, very important. And when you do this for your vocals, your drums, etc., etc., you get all these individual tracks and then you can mix them against each other. That's the benefit here. Uh, so that's really all I have to say. Um, I'm going to leave you with a little tip here. If you've never checked out what the Logic Groups has to offer, it's pretty sweet. So I'm just going to grab these tracks select a new group. You can create a new group. I already have one set up. It's called Vocals. Um, and then, okay, first of all, to do this, you have to make sure your advanced preferences are enabled. So if you go to Logic Pro, Preferences, Advanced Tools, make sure everything is enabled. Just select that Enable All option, and these groups will be enabled. Uh, and then if you go to Mix, you can Show Groups, um, and uh, that's just going to enable this little box that pops out. But um, you can get to it here on the side on the left in the information panel. Okay, so you can see that I have selected this vocals group, which I've sent all these tracks to. And you can link volume, the mute, the uh, track zoom, the color, all of this kind of stuff. And so since the volume is locked in this group, uh, I can control volume of one, and it will um, basically do that on the rest of the tracks in the group. Uh, so this is also, if you're wanting to go down this route, if you're looking for this kind of functionality, that is something you can get at as well. And you can do this, you can send to uh, multiple groups if you'd like, do whatever you want. Pretty cool way of grouping your tracks like that as well. So uh, that's really all I have in this tutorial, everyone. Thanks for watching, um, and if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll see you later.